Hey folks, have you tried the Ned Rig? So what is the Ned Rig? In this chapter of Soft Plastics 101, we're gonna give you a quick run through on it. So basically, it's taken the US by storm. It's a Midwestern finesse technique created by Ned, and it works perfectly with the Z-Man plastics because of their buoyancy. So the rig itself, basically it consists of a mushroom style jig head. So in this case, a TT Lewis Nedlocks jig head and a Ned rig finesse style plastic. So this is a 2.75 inch finesse TRD. So the guys were basically cutting down plastics until they got to this profile size, fishing at finesse on light line and catching cricket score numbers of bass in the US. So we're gonna bring this set up to Australia and we're gonna get stuck into a heap of fish on it, I believe. In terms of plastics, this is a 2.75 inch finesse TRD. TRD, the real deal. This is the real deal. Comes in a stack of different colors. And what is it? Well, I would say, what isn't it? You know, this could be a little fleeing bait fish, could be a shrimp flicking, could be a worm. But the whole theory is, this is a bite-sized plastic that is buoyant. When you're retrieving it on this jig head, it'll basically get up and move. So it's like it's a bait fish or a craw or, or something fleeing. And then when you pause it on that mushroom head, it hinges back up quickly in a defensive type pose. So it could be a worm coming up from the bottom, but it's that whole flea defend, flea defend that just keeps triggering strikes, keeps giving fish a reason to eat it. And because of that bite size profile, gone, away it goes. And the cool thing is, the only way a fish can tell what that is, is to eat it. They don't have hands, so they need to use their mouth to find out what that is. So that's a 2.75 inch finesse TRDs, rigged on that mushroom style jig head to give us that stand up presentation. All right, there we go. There's a, a flatty, not a big one, but where there's smoke, there's fire. That's on our 2.75 inch. He's fired up that one. He, he wanted to keep that. So that's on the finesse TRD plastic. So the 2.75 inch finesse TRD. So you'll see that, that there's very little in terms of action in that plastic. But because that Elastec's a buoyant material, this little finesse TRD basically a little elastic stick bait because it's buoyant its tail flicks up in the air so when you're retrieving it it's fleeing like a bait fish or a shrimp or a prawn or whatever trying to escape and then because of the design of it with no appendages on there it hinges back really quickly so i'm fleeing i'm defending i'm fleeing i'm defending so it's always triggering strikes it either looks like something that's trying to get away or a yabby or a crab that's throwing its claws up to try and defend itself so it's either fleeing or defending, always attracting fish, always triggering strikes. We'll let that little bloke go. So you can see that's quite a simple looking presentation. That little 2.75 inch finesse TRD. But because of that mushroom head, so we've got it on a Nedlocks jig head and we've got that buoyant 2.75 inch finesse TRD. Retrieving, it's fleeing. So it's looking like a prawn or a fish escaping hinging back up, defending, fleeing, defending, fleeing, defending. And then when it's sitting in the water, it's just moving around in the current, could even be a worm coming out of the bottom. So again, that's that Ned rig setup, attracting the fish, triggering strikes, getting that bite, and it's nothing for a fish to inhale that little 2.75 inch finesse TRDs. Ned rig, game on. There are some other plastics in the range though. Those of you that are chasing bigger species like Mulloway and Snapper, that big TRD is gonna be a killer. Again, it's buoyant, so you're gonna get that tail up action. Fleeing, defending, fleeing, defending, but also just that movement in the water that will attract fish and trigger strikes. 10 times tough and buoyant, that's the secret to the, to the Ned Rig. Other plastics that have a few more appendages and a bit of action, that's our TRD hogs. So again, perfect for that Ned, Ned Rig style setup on that mushroom jig head. Also, the two and a half inch TRD craws, which is gonna be an absolute weapon. That's a bite-sized snack. And on that stand-up head, those little buoyant claws are gonna be waving around. And then the four inch hula sticks. So that hula sticks is a four inch stick bait, 
but it's got those subtle tentacles on the end there to send out subtle strike triggers to fish, snapper, mull away, those sorts of things, flatties are gonna love those. So that's the Ned Rig. We use it on a mushroom head, as we said. So that's the Ned Locks jig head from TT, available in a range of sizes, and that assists that plastic in standing up, getting that stand up presentation, and that quick hinging from fleeing to defending, fleeing to defending. So Ned Locks, Ned Rig range of plastics, whether you want that movement and action in that, or whether you want that quick sink, no appendages, quick sink to the bottom and work it around on the bottom. Or you can also even work these on the surface as well at speed if you need to in terms of pelagic species and those sorts of things. So a very versatile presentation and a presentation that we reckon will be deadly in Australia. But let's go and test it out. We've got a 2.75 inch finesse TRD rigged we got a two and a half inch TRD Cruise rigged. Let's go catch a fish. Woohoo! All right. Ned rig on the flats. Just been hopping Ned rig plastics. So this is the TRD Cruise 2.5 on this fish. A couple of casts ago, a little tailor, and now a nice brim. So hopping it across the flats. Tap, tap of the fish. Keep that retrieve going, and he has absolutely scoffed it. So that's a solid brim. Oh, he's not happy. And he's inhaled that TRD craws. Those little buoyant claws up doing their thing on the flats, hopping along. This fish is just peck, peck, and then suck that craw in. So there you go, that's a decent brim in anyone's language. The little Ned Rig jig head. And that lively little TRD craws. So there you go, the Ned Rig ripping the US apart, taking it by storm. I think the Ned Rig is going to be a pretty awesome setup for Aussie anglers as well. All right, let's give this guy a swim.